Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Okay, um, there are still a lot of videos to come, but I have spent quite a lot of time um, sticking down scraps into the phone book. Um, now my drawer is starting to get depleted and the pieces are getting smaller and smaller and I am less and less interested in sticking them down with a glue stick because it takes more and more time so I have decided to pull out these glue pages and just stick a bunch of these little scraps on them with some PVA glue because this will be a much faster process um, what am I going to do with them once they dry I really don't know so um, yeah basically I'm gonna do this stick them down let them dry come back to them and consider what can be done with them afterwards but for now let's just get on with sticking them down
Okay, there we have one sheet completed. Um, I am going to just take this and put it aside and let it dry and um, we will pull in another um, silicon mat. Um, I'm going to have to make up some more glue and we will do another sheet. So um, this is the glue I'm using by the way. It is just PVA glue from my local hardware store. And I'm mixing it about 50-50 with some water. Um, nothing too precise, just filling up half the jar with glue and then the other half with water. So, you know, sometimes it's a 50-50 mix. Sometimes maybe it's a little different, but it's pretty much that. So give that a good shake and we will move on and do another sheet.
Okay, now we'll set these aside to dry for overnight. And when we come back in the morning, this is what we ended up with. Now, obviously you could leave this as a single sheet, um, but if I was planning on doing that, I probably would not have used glue pages. I would have used a single sheet of paper. Um, I planned all along to cut these apart um, into possibly tags, I guess, in the end of the day. Um, but you could do exactly the same thing as this, but just on a sheet of paper. This is very reminiscent of my kooky paper that I make, um, but it's just a bit different in the fact that it doesn't have a napkin over it. Um, and it has a base layer, so... Um, yeah, it's essentially the same thing though. So um, I am going to trim these up and probably in the end of the day these will end up being tags. Some of them will get cut in half so that they're half this length. Others will just be left as large tags. So um, who knows what I'll do with them. I will probably sew on them or stick something on them as a focal point. Um, I will obviously cover the backs with something like dyed paper or shopping bag paper bag um, you know that kind of thing um, and then yeah sew around them more than likely just because they will be neater and tidier and well stuck together that way but in any case this is what I've come up with to do with my little scraps in my scrap drawer and I like it so yeah <laughs> I hope you do too um, there are a lot of them. <laughs> I just did those two sheets that um, I showed you, but this is how many we ended up with. So, And I think it looks quite effective. They will make nice tags to put in my stash. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for being with me here today. And um, maybe you'll give this a try with your tiny, tiny scraps. It's a lot quicker than glue stick. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.